hello students in this video we will discuss about the third chapter tables in ms access for class 8 in computer subject right in the previous chapter we have studied about the database and here we will discuss about the ms access which is a type which is a database software and ms access means microsoft access mm, comes with the ms office package right this comes with ms office package so here ms access in the previous chapter we have studied that database is the well organized collection of the data which can be updated right so here uh, when the database is maintained electronically or digitally so a special kind of the softwares are used which are known as database software management applications right dbms database management software right and here some software are um, oracle fox pro ms excel mysql sql so these are the database management systems but here one most uh, one uh, database system is database software is microsoft access which comes with the microsoft office so here we know that if we want to stores uh, some information about the about students of the class we form the tables right and in the table there are many rows and there are many columns it means tables are basically the structures in which data is stored in rows and columns right so here first of all we will discuss the table and its properties so let us start here your chapter is third and chapter name is tables in ms access right so and in this chapter we will study introduction to tables which which we are going to study data types right working with tables and setting the primary key various operation on fields and sorting data etc right now here we will discuss first of all we will read what has been written in your book now that you understand what is a database as i have discussed i have told you that database is the well organized collection of data which can be updated right and you will learn a few concepts related to data that is stored in a database in the form of an object the data that is needed to store in a database is the table right it means what tables are such a structure in which we store the 
data in the form of row and columns right and for the development of or, or for making database we need tables so here your topic is introduction to tables right so let us discuss a table is an object a table is an object or component in a database that is used to hold the data physically it means what in the table tables are used to hold the data it means tables are used to store the data meaning of this uh, sentence is this it means when uh, uh, we want to store the data we can prepare a table and we can write the data put the information in it now another thing it is basically a collection of data arranged in the form of row and columns as shown in student table right it means here it means here you can say right table is a collection of data in the forms of rows and columns right it means tables holds the data in the form of rows and columns right now here now here we can see that thus you can see that the data is stored in a tabular form right each row in a table is called record or tuple this is most important each row in the table is called record or tuple which contains data interrelated to each other and each column in a table is called field or attribute right means in a table in which data is stored rows are known as uh record or tuple rows are known as record or tuple while the columns are known as fields or attribute is it clear it means table is an object in which table is a thing in which data is stored in the form of ro rows and columns one thing is clear after that what is the next it means the rows of the table is a row of a table is known as record or tuple and the column of the table is known as attribute right this is very important so here four things are clear what is database right or oh, and after that what is table what are record or tuple and what are field or attribute clear database is a well organized well structured uh, collection of the data which can be updated right and for the database database is made by uh, by tables then next question is what is table right so tables hold the data in the form of rows and columns right it means table is an object or thing which holds the data 
in the form of row and table uh, row and columns clear and the rows of the table are known as tuples or records it mean one row is known as tuple or record right a row is known as tuple or record clear and column is known as field or attribute it is clear so here four definition are very important database what is database and what is table and what are rows what is rows or uh, what is record or table right what is record or table it means one row a row of the table is known as record or table and the column of the tables are known as field or attribute now okay now we come to the next here we can see a table the name of the table is student right the name of the table is student this is the title of the table and here we can see that there are rows and columns and the columns are roll number names and addresses so these columns are known as these columns are known as fields or attribute right fields or attribute fields or attribute now here you can see many rows eight rows right and these rows are known as tuple and here uh, tuple or record uh, and i uh, if i ask uh, tell me one record then it will be one at the number one aditi sarma and her address is kolkata this is one record whole record right likewise here eight records are there and three fields what are the fields roll numbers names and addresses in the fields the num same type of the things are filled right in the fields for example in the roll numbers roll number will be written it means as many as records are there their roll number will be there it means as many number of the students are there in the school or the students in the class their roll number will be written in the name field names of the students will be filled and in the addresses addresses of the students will be filled right so here this is example of a table right now here we can understand more things from the above table it is clear that there are eight records of the students having roll number from 1 to 8 we have already discussed it similarly there are three fields name as roll number names and addresses right these are three fields in the above table and the field roll numbers as you can see can uniquely identify the record it means roll number it means same uh, two students cannot have same roll number it means the roll number for each and every student is unique right it means uh, roll number is unique for each and every student of the class this is because there cannot be two students having the same roll number in the class and therefore the field roll number is called primary key right 
and here one thing very important primary key a primary key is a field that can uniquely identify a, a record in a table it means when we want to know about the uh, name and address of the roll number 8 we will get uh, tell me roll num uh, tell me the name and address of the roll number 8 then what will be the answer the name of the roll number 8 is Ravind uh, Ravindran Nair and his address is Patna it means uh, each and every student has his unique roll number and such type the such type of the field such type uh, such type of the things can be used as primary key in the database and these primary keys are used to extract information uh, which can be filled in many tables right and these primary key are placed in each table and likewise these all the tables are connected so that we can uh, retrieve the information from any table with the help of that unique thing and that is why this is known as primary key so what is the definition here which has been given you can see here a primary key a primary key a primary key is a field that can uniquely identify a record in a table right so here what have we learned today in this chapter what is database right uh, what is table what is record what is field after that what is primary number right so here this is all about this class In the next class, we will discuss something about the relational database. Okay. How the tables are, how are tables made, how are database created by the help of tables, right? And what is relational database? We will discuss these things in the next video. Okay, students.